Hi, I'm Shabba Turf Organics and today I'm going to teach you how to treat chinch bugs in your lawn. We're going to go over quickly how to identify them and then I'm going to go over several different products you can use, how to mix them so you can ensure that you get rid of those nasty chinch bugs and they don't destroy your lawn. But first, I want to thank everyone who subscribed. I appreciate it. If my videos help you, please consider subscribing. Uh, we're almost to 10,000 subscribers. Once I get to 10,000, I'm going to do a fertilizer giveaway. I'm going to give away three bags of humic fertilizer uh, to three random subscribers. So if you want some good fertilizers, please feel free to subscribe and hopefully you can win. Thank you so much for the support you've shown so far. Now let's get right into the video. The main pieces of equipment you'll need to treat chinch bugs will be a backpack sprayer, a hand sprayer, a hand spreader, or a push spreader. You will need one of these pieces of equipment to use these products to treat chinch bugs. So first off, what are chinch bugs and how, how can we identify them? I have a video that goes more into detail, but I'm gonna do a quick overview. So the video in more detail will be linked down below. But a quick overview is chinch bugs are small, black bugs with white X's. That's an adult chinch bug. They also will be black with the white stripe and they'll also be orange with the white stripe. That is the three main stages of chinch bugs. What you'll be looking for in the lawn is areas that are dying out. It'll be a very severe kill because chinch bugs have a piercing sucking mouth part. So what they do is, is they inject the grass with poison and then suck all the juices out of it. So they kill it down all the way to the roots. So those areas will be very bare and a big thing is you'll see a yellowish ring around the dead areas. That's kind of a really good sign that you may have chinch bugs and the damaged area is moving fast. First thing to always check is make sure the area is getting proper water because it might look like it's drying out, um, but that's from the chinch bugs. So if you know you're getting water in that area and it still continues, you definitely wanna look for chinch bugs. Now also the good thing about chinch bugs is you can see them. So what you can do is, is get down and spread the grass out and look for those little bugs that I've showed you here and to see if you can find any. Chinch bugs work in high numbers, so if you start to look around these areas, you will find them. And you don't want to look in the dead areas, you want to look in the ring around where you're seeing that yellow stress of the grass, because they've already moved on from the dead areas. So look around by the base of the plant. Some other signs of chinch bugs will be big eye bugs. They look very similar to chinch bugs, but they don't have the stripe, so that's the big thing, and they're a little bit of a different shape. And then also ants. Both of those things feed chinch bugs. So if you're seeing a lot of big eyed bugs and ants in a bare area that's dying quickly, there's a really good chance that you do have chinch bugs there. So now that we've identified chinch bugs, let's get in how to treat them. Let's go over a few products ranging from cheap to expensive and what type of control we can expect out of them. Now the first product I'm gonna go over is called Tall Star. Tall Star's active ingredient is bifithrin. Now Tall Star is a cheap product with a low amount of active ingredient. Tall Star is best used to treat active chinch bugs uh, with a very low residual and that means the product's not going to stick around very long. So that's going to be a good way to treat the product and then the product kind of fades away uh, but you can get reinfestation again. Um, I highly recommend after treating you want to water in the next morning and always inspect two weeks after treatment to see if you need to reapply uh, because chinch bugs do reproduce asexually so if you leave a few chinch bugs or even one they can be back especially when you're using a product that has no residual but that is one of the cheaper and safer products because of how low that active ingredient is. Also have Bifin IT, which is bifithrin again, and it actually has the same amount of active ingredient as Tall Star in it. So they're two very similar products, just different brands. My recommendation to see whatever you can get the best price on is the best product to get. We'll both be mixed at a rate of 0.5 to 1 fluid ounces per thousand square feet. So if that's out of a backpack sprayer, be mixing to one gallon. And the next is the Bifin LP Granulars, which is the same thing, bifithrin, but in granular form. Um, this is as well cheap. The big benefit here is granulars are easier to apply because you're not doing any mixing. But from what I found, granular insecticides are not very infective. There's a really good chance that you will not get good control and you may have to be reapplying several times and that you might lose a big part of your lawn. So it's cheap and easy to apply, but the control may not be worth it. And you'll be using that at a rate of 2.3 to 4.6 pounds per thousand square feet. 
Next we have Bifin XTS, and that is another bifithrin active ingredient, but the active ingredient is almost triple to Tall Star and the other Bifin product. So you're gonna get a lot stronger and a lot more control with that. That is a mid-rate price, but of course you're gonna pay a little bit more. The residual's a little bit better, um, but not much. Uh, those bifithrins are very good for control and not long-lasting, and you'll mix that at a 0.5 to one fluid ounces per thousand, so it's a little bit more of an expensive product, uh, but a lot better control. The next will be a metacloprid 2F, and the active ingredient is a metacloprid. This is a systemic insecticide. It goes into the soil, through the roots, and into the plant, so those pests have to actively ingest the plant to be affected. These are really good for long-term residuals. The treatment, actually treating active chinch bugs, is not that great. You can get control, um, but it's not really 100% guaranteed but you'll have long-term residuals that will stay in the area that will help prevent future infestations, but getting control of an active one is not gonna be that great. And again, you'll always wanna check again two weeks after applying the product to still see if there's any active chinch bugs. And you'll be applying this product at 17 milliliters per thousand square feet, which out of a backpack is to one gallon of water. The next product is pyrethrin. SFR and the active ingredient is pyrethrin. This is a mid-price product and this product is going to be okay for treatment but it is going to be good for long-term residual and prevention as well. Of course you're going to always want to follow up two weeks after an application to see if there's any active chinch bugs and you'll be applying this product at 0.4 to 0.8 fluid ounces per thousand square feet which out of a backpack is one gallon. The final product I'm gonna recommend is called Triple Crown. Now this is a very expensive product, but with that, it's an extremely effective product. It's probably one of the best ones on the homeowner market that you can buy. It will get you extreme control and extreme long-term residual prevention. Um, so that is a good way to almost guarantee that your chinch bugs are treated and to guarantee they won't come back for 60 to 90 days. So that's gonna be really good control, but of course, that comes at a price. You still always wanna check two weeks after, but with Triple Crown, using three active ingredients you can almost be sure that your chinch bugs will be treated and you'll be mixing that to 0.46 to 0.80 fluid ounces per thousand square feet which out of a backpack is one gallon now those are the main products I recommend and it's also always good to switch your active ingredients so you don't want to be constantly using the same product year after year after year especially as a homeowner you won't be you know applying this over your whole yard I really recommend only treating active areas where maybe you constantly have an issue or you are having issue um, even though some of these products do have residuals for prevention, without a heavy equipment to really soak that product in, the residuals really don't work well. So this is all these products are gonna be most effective when treating an active area. As a homeowner, you don't have to worry too much, but keep in mind if you keep buying the same product year after year or using it, please switch it up because chinch bugs can get resistance to certain products. So we wanna make sure different active ingredients are being used. Also, when you do apply, these products all need to be watered in the next morning. They need a nice good drenching. And then also you wanna get a good deep soaking with these products. So you don't wanna apply very light to the area. I would recommend maybe using blue tracer dye, just like you would for weed control, to really see how much you're soaking down. But please make sure to soak these products in very well to the affected areas and do a ring outside so you want to find the affected areas and then treat a five foot ring outside of that area and soak that all in because chinch bugs can spread out and even though you don't see the damage yet they could start damaging there so you want to make sure you're getting a broad area and soaking very deeply well and then watering in the next morning now what I'm going to recommend to be the most cost effective, the best for pets and people, our environment, and get good control is going to be mixing one of the bifithrins with an imetocloprid or a pyrethrin. So what you're going to want to do is any of the bifins that uh, work best for your situation, follow that label rate, then get an imetocloprid, use that label rate, mix those products together, and then apply. 
that's going to be one of the best way because the bif you're using two active ingredients. The bifithrin's good at control. The metacoprid's good at residual. Because the triple crown does that, but it's extremely expensive. So this way you're still being cost effective and you're getting good treatment and good long-term control, both in the same. And then make sure you switch up with using pyrethrin and swap for a metacloprid. And then using the different bifithrins will help as well. Now there's more products than us, just these. These are some of the most popular cost effective and products I'm familiar with and I know as a homeowner can be easy and effective to use. So that's why I'm recommending these but these by far are not the only products. Products are labeled for all our warm season grasses and they could be even labeled for cool season grasses but I know our St. Augustine, Bermudas, Zoysias are, are all covered under there uh, but always read the labels, check the labels for yourself, make sure you're wearing the proper PPE when mixing and applying these products. Now, if you found any of this information useful, please consider liking and subscribing. I would really appreciate it. We're almost to 10,000 subscribers, and I want to do a giveaway of some fertilizer. So please make sure you're subscribed so you have the chance of winning some fertilizer and supporting this channel. I'm Chad with Turf Organics, and I hope everyone has a great rest of your day.